Well, hello, glue troopers, and welcome back to the Tarvis. Uh, allow me to demonstrate this fully operational Tarvis. Uh, I had uh, gotten some messages from you guys uh, about using uh, LED bulbs uh, for the workstation. And, okay, I went and got one. You're right, an improvement. And if one is better, more is more better. Blah. Actually, I was going to bring one of my studio lights in here into the Tarbis uh, to uh, shoot the video with, just to see if it made an improvement. As you can tell, I'm using it. Uh, but I have uh, CFL lights, uh, the studio type, but I also had some old LED ones I didn't use much anymore. Nice thing, of course, their LEDs are very bright and they're very cool. And I realized when I brought it in here that, wait a minute, since it's dial adjustable, I can use that to illuminate the work area in addition to this one whenever I feel like I need more light. And boy did it work! Um, so this thing may become a permanent fixture in here, although this light may seem a little bit harsh, but um, I, part of me was thinking, well, if I use a studio light I'll get a better focus, but then I was thinking, you know, I really look better when I'm a little out of focus. Uh, so anyway, uh, but there again I found a solution to a problem that didn't exist. Yay me! Um, so, as you guys may have gathered if you saw the intro today, it was a rocket day. First I went to the RC field, flew all three of my planes, got four flights, got them all back in one piece, even kept a couple of them on the runway. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, from there I had to go find a place to launch. A couple of guys had some suggestions. The, the first place I went was a school. Huge fields, but there were ball games and stuff going on. That wasn't happening. I went down to a local fairground, and when I got there, there was a guy flying an RC in this gigantic empty grass lot. So he had his family with him. Well, that's a good sign. So I go over and ask him, and uh, hey, I just came from the RC field. And he goes, oh yeah, I was going to do that, but this is closer, and no one ever bothers me. I was like, well, you think they care if I fired a rocket here, or excuse me, launched a rocket? Here? I doubt it. And I'd had people tell me before at this particular place that when they launched rockets, uh, if it was wasn't an event going on or something uh, that uh, no one cared. A couple of deputies come out and watched him one time. They were just curious. But um, the area that we were using was their overflow parking when they have big events there. So as long as there's nothing going on, they're a huge place. So uh, sent up the drone, got the camera ready, and, and got this uh, video that I'll show you at the end. Uh, I got off uh, three launches with the uh, Redstone and one with the, uh, I'm calling it Salvage One. Yes, that that is in homage to the, a nod to the old TV show with Andy Griffith, Salvage One, where he built the spaceship out of junk. Um, and uh, now the Salvage One didn't have a recovery system. It was just supposed to be a one-shot deal. And as you'll see in the video, it came, it went up straight and came down straight, went in the ground, and didn't even do any damage, which the nose cone I'd made for it broke. Uh, it was a real cheap plastic cup that I'd turned over. But but the bottom of it that was that seated in still was would fit so I just put it in there without the nose cone and it went it did fine and the uh, It's completely reusable. The, the engine mount broke probably from the landing from the hard impact So basically all I do is make another engine mount. So, you know, if it's gonna work like that Then I I guess I should just go ahead and uh, put a recovery system in it and maybe paint it up a little more make it look pretty But I was very happy with it the Mercury Redstone, of course, being a fairly heavy model rocket, didn't really go up that high. Uh, you uh, had a couple C65s, and I had bought some C67s. For those who are, just in case a couple of folks don't know what that means, uh, C is the engine size, the, the letter on front is the size of the engine, the number behind it is the, the measurement of newtons, kilonewtons, how much, basically tells you how much power it has. And the dash number at the end tells you how many second delay between uh, when the rocket fires and when the ejection charge to pop out the parachute fires or whatever recovery system you have. Well, the Redstone, you really don't want to use anything uh, shorter or longer than a C65, five second delay. C65 went up. I was using lettuce, yes, shredded lettuce as my wadding because I didn't have any wadding and that was what everybody recommended and it works fine and of course it's completely harmless to the environment. And shooting over a grass field, there's no trash to pick up or anything. So I put some lettuce in there, packed the parachute, but I didn't pack it. it. It popped out, but the parachute never came completely out. The, the capsule separated, but the parachute stayed inside the tube. Maybe I had too much wadding, uh, there was some sort of lettuce still in there. Um, or maybe uh, it was something, maybe it's the way I packed it. So next time I was real careful to make sure, since I know the capsule comes out, 
to pack the parachute up tight against the bottom of the capsule. Nah, and the second and third flights, the parachute deployed just fine. Although one of them, as you'll see in the video, ooh, I should not have used C6-7s. That was the next thing I was going to get to. The C6-5, let's say, I, I didn't want to get too high. This field was so big, wind wasn't a problem. We had about 11 knots. Uh, but when it came down with the C6-5 and the parachute didn't open, but I saw where it opened, uh, where it ejected, I'm like, well, that should be okay with the C6-7. The C6-7 opened 50-ish feet off the ground, maybe, um, maybe 75. And the second one didn't, I don't think went quite as high, but uh, you'll see, I mean, it literally was separation, reef in, or uh, line shock, one swing and it was on the ground. Uh, so C65 set rocket. Remember the heavier the rocket, it's, it's not gonna go as high or as fast. But but of course it's a scale model, which just looks cool. I did get some of the little corner fins knocked off. Actually, eventually all of them got knocked off. And yes, uh, two of them were knocked off on the initial flight, but I've flown enough rockets, I determined it was okay to make a couple more flights. They're more decoration than anything and, the, and it flew just fine. Um, and I did get some drone footage. So. Also, uh, there'll be a, I'm going to tab, I made the video and I'm going to attach that to the end of this video. So, uh, anyway, um, also a little bit of good news. Uh, the GB is partially, the paint on it has gotten uh, drier in some areas, hardened in some areas. Uh, the top of the wing is completely hard now. The bottom's still a little tacky. The landing gears are still a little tacky, but at least I know that it, whatever it is, it is leaching out and is drying. So a few more days and the thing should, I should be able to work on it. But that's okay because I have this Waddell Williams to keep me busy until then. Um, plus a whole bunch of grown-up real-world stuff coming down the pike. And uh, Monday I have a training event. So that's a scratch up. I may get something out in the morning. I don't know, but there won't be any model building. Um, and then I think uh, later in the week, I go back to work next month, February. Sorry guys, not gonna be a lot of content. I'm working 15 days. Um, maybe I can put something together on the road, but I'm not counting on it. And uh, I'm gonna be all over the place. So that's uh, just, that's my job. Uh, so uh, today was a very productive day though. If, if Hopefully I'll get to put something out tomorrow, but. If today is the last regular show for a while, which I mean, I'm probably being a little doom and gloom, I don't think that's bad. I'll get some stuff out, but but at least it really went on a good day. You know, great day of flying RCs, beautiful weather. It was a little cold when I went out, but by by, by noon time, I was peeling off the sweater and everything. Um, just a just a really great day, and uh, I, one of those days that makes you just love modeling. And so uh, on that note, uh, guys, I, I hope everybody's doing well. I'll try to get out some content as I can, when I can, where I can. And I hope all of you guys are uh, still busy building. By the way, I, I saw a bunch of emails. Looks like some of you guys have been sending more pictures, so maybe I can get a viewer's build going here pretty soon. I also still want to work on the Aurora Files on the Mr. Spock uh, figure that uh, Andy sent me a bunch of information on. I have a Tom Daniel short story that I uh, told him I would I would narrate, and if he approved it, I would. It's just some fiction he wrote about 35 years ago, uh, just a short story, and uh, it was pretty cool. And um, yes, we're moving into the fiction category here. Uh, still reading the book on Jimmy Doolittle and little bits because so much going on, and just keeping myself busy. And I hope you guys are doing the same thing uh in this uh wild and crazy world of ours you know uh the one thing that we uh, always know is we can come home and build some models and man that's a that's just a beautiful thing well guys you take care uh, appreciate you checking in on me and uh we will see you later model on And the clock is started. Yes, sir. Reading it loud and clear. She packed my bags last night pre flight. Zero hours, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a 
kite by then. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space. Such a timeless flight. Gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Burning at his fears of heaven. Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. Cold as ice And there's no one there to raise them If you did And all the science I don't understand It's just my job five days a week Oh, no.